Right, uh, hello everybody. Gee, what? I've never heard of a bird scare before, and, and it, is, it does what it says. Ah. So, I'm in Pagham. Pagham Marshes. Pagham Marshes? Pagham Harbour Nature Reserve. Pagham Harbour Nature Reserve. I'm here with Matt. Good day. Who I'm sure you remember from something. So yeah, welcome to 500 Photos. I try when I do this to push the boundaries or do something a little bit more creative. What happened? Swallows. Oh, the swallows, there you go, swallows are going. So let's see if we can get a photo of the swallow. Anyway, Matt's here. He hasn't been there for a little while because, you know, there's this like global pandemic and stuff. So, um, <laughs> you know, so I've decided to come down to his stomping ground, which is this. Oh, it's this beautiful, look at that. Look at this place. That, that is a, that's the, that's it. Let's see if we can get a nice photo of a swallow with a beautiful reflection on the lake down there. So what I'm gonna do, very high shutter speed. Oh, what are we on? The ground is crawling. We're gonna get, well, I'm gonna get bitten. What are these? These are um, the things that I filmed in Wales and I can't remember the name of they them. They are really cool. They're, 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 Amph they're... Amph amphipods. Ah, oh, they're the little, amphipods? Sh little crustacean jumpy things. <laughs> I was filming the swallows, or trying to film and photograph the swallows, and then we just discovered this absolute horde of, of, of little crustacean, jumpy crustaceans. So that took my interest, and it's certainly taken Matt's interest down there, if you can see. Matt's certainly going at it here with these things. But you can see they're all jumping and climbing up that wall. It's pretty, it's mayhem, absolute mayhem. They seem to have calmed a bit though, but I think that's because they're gradually drowning. So because we couldn't get close to the swallows, all the attention turned to the amphipods for taking photos. I tried firstly to get a photo of them jumping around in the sky by setting a very high shutter speed, but unfortunately it just didn't come about and none of them were flying into focus at any particular point. Then I decided to watch them emerging from the water as I think they were trying to escape the encroaching tide. I managed to capture this shot and you can see one half out. I wish I got a little bit closer to this subject though as it was quite interesting watching it emerge. So with this photo, we've got one individual amongst all of that chaos going on, and you can see the light bouncing off all the other bodies. I wasn't sure whether I preferred this photo or the one after it. This photo showed the top of the wall with them climbing over the top. It kind of reminded me of something like World War Z, where all the zombies are climbing up the wall. And I thought it gave a bit more of a story to the image, but I did prefer the coloration in the last one. And then we sat and looked at the swans for a bit. By that time, I realized that actually, all the other subjects for photography were a little bit too far away from where I was, so it was back to the amphipods for more. I wanted to get a portrait kind of shot, and there were two that I managed. Unfortunately, the light wasn't really good enough on the body, so it's not great. Um, and, and secondly, with this one, it's a little bit better, but the reflections are just causing a little bit too much confusion on the face. Bear in mind, these things are tiny. They're like... Uh, they're like half a centimetre maximum across, you know, some of them are just a couple of millimetres, so this is with a macro lens. My next photo I really wanted to encapsulate the chaotic texture of what was going on, just this big mass of strange crustacean bodies, and actually I think this is one of the, my favourite photos of the day, if not the next one that did kind of the same thing, but with one of them a bit more obvious. I like the kind of dark brown feel and murky it looks like it's come straight out of a sort of horror movie or something like that. 
Anyway, that was basically it. We thought we were going to go for one subject being the swallows and the water birds and suddenly came across this huge mass gathering of amphipods and that caught our attention. And it just shows that sometimes when you're out in the field and you're taking photos and you have a preconceived idea, it's not necessarily what happens. And adapting and changing and seeing and embracing something new is often a great way to go about photography. So I was glad I had my macro lens in my bag and could get it out and get some photos of what was something that I'd never really seen before, this mass gathering of amphipods. But that's all for today. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode.